Hey kids, how's everybody out there in YouTube land this evening, huh? Welcome to another edition. <laughs> oh man, life aboard the good ship, but Lily too with me and, and Facha the dog here and Miss Lily. Anyhow, bright sunny day today, low winds, warmed up to about 75. In all, in all accounts, all aspects, just a beautiful day here in paradise. Really just a, just a fantastic day here in Marathon, Florida. So, uh, beautiful sunset developing. Good day, good day. Feeling much better, feeling much, much better. Uh, this morning I got up early, took Miss Lily for her walk as we always do. Uh, had a good time. She did her business. We got plenty of exercise. Came back, brought her back to the boat, and uh, had to make a fuel run. I was out of gasoline, so no fuel for the outboard, no fuel for the generator. I, I had a full tank in the uh, in the dinghy, and so we ran over to Burdine's to buy fuel. And I spent about $38 refilling the fuel tanks. Uh, picking up 10 gallons of gasoline, so huh. I guess that's one way to transport a a sheet of plywood. I don't know if I can get that on there, but uh, no, he went right behind the boat just as I was transferring it over. He's heading over to Carpe Diem, I believe. You'll see here in a minute a dinghy with a stack of plywood on it. There you go. I guess that's how you transport plywood here in here in paradise. So uh, let me turn around so I can read the chat. I can't see anything when I got the sun in my eyes like that. Hey Martin, hey Miss Shar, how you doing, Miss Shar number two? Hey Marie, how you doing? Uh looks like a good day in paradise there. Good evening, Carl Lily and friends. Well thanks, Miss Shar. Thank you, Marie, and and thank you, Martin. Appreciate all you guys being here. Oh, a beautiful day here in paradise. Feeling much better. Took the dog for her walk. Got back here. Ran did a fuel run. Got to look at my hair. It looks like a mess. Um, I've been, I was wearing my ball cap all day today, and I just took it off a little bit ago. So I have a bad case of hat hair. Uh, anyhow, uh, got the fuel run done, and then I... Um, well, we were out of food. That's that's the, the, the truth of the matter. We were just out of food. There was nothing there was no eggs there was no bread there was no butter uh we were out of food and so i had no choice but to take what little funds i had left thanks to a last minute donation from somebody yesterday and uh, i just had to go i had to go provision i had to go get some groceries and stuff so so we could eat uh which we did we went and we uh we provisioned today and i uh i i added and subtracted and multiplied and divided and picked up and sorted through and chose specific things <laughs> ended up with a dollar 98 left in my account i think i figured my my grocery bill pretty closely there was a dollar 98 left in my account that uh, was pretty close anyhow got some provisions got them back here to the boat <clears throat> good long walk two and a half mile round trip and it was tough toting stuff toting stuff Anyhow, I got back here to the boat. I did take a taxi on the way back, but it wasn't too bad. Got everything loaded up in the dinghy and ran everything out here to the boat. And where I was where I was helped by my canine companion here. She had to sniff and investigate every single package that I bought and brought into the boat. She had to make sure it was all up to her standards. So, did you? Didn't you, huh? You made sure it was all good? Yeah? Okay. Anyhow, I got everything inside, got it all put away, and then I got online and uh, was working online today doing, um, well, let me turn this around so you guys can see me. There we go. Um, <laughs> filling out job applications and resumes and uh, applying for work. So, well, we'll see. We'll see how all that bears out i've been job on the job hunt now for a while so well howdy neighbor hey, how are you? 
All right, man, how you doing? Let me show you this guy going by here. Pretty cool little rowing skiff. Kind of an interesting little piece, so. Hey, pilot, what's up? Doing the do, congrats. Happy it's coming together for you. Well, it's coming slowly, so. Uh, been a while. Hey, Maniac, Grammy's Homestead. Wow, I haven't seen you in a while. How you doing? Huh. Yeah, it's been old home week. We've had a whole lot of people that I haven't seen in a long time visiting. It's been kind of interesting, so. Hey, Smokin', how you doing, ma'am? Anyhow, we've been uh, we've been looking at other jobs, and while we're in the in the meantime, while we're waiting for the real estate thing to get going, taking uh, it's not taking as long as I thought. Actually, it's taking less time than I thought. I'm having good progress, but I'm still 60 days away from seeing my first commission check, and so I got to figure out some way of making money for the next 60 days, which is hard, you know. Because I really don't want to start a job and then quit on them in 60 days. That's just not fair to them, to whoever hires me. So it's a it's, it's a quandary. I mean, it's it's a real um, ethically I have I have issue with it. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where it ends up. But I don't want to uh, misrepresent any in particular employer that I'm going to be there for the long haul. And uh, by the same token, I need to find some income for 60 days. So. Anyhow, anyhow, I'm, 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 what I'm leading up to with all this, guys, if you guys can help out, please do. I've got, uh, I've got four days to come up with about 130 bucks towards my phone bill. Otherwise, we stop uploading. <laughs> In about four days, if I don't have 130 bucks put into my account to uh, help me with the phone bill, the channel will stop. So let's prove those trolls wrong. Let's piss off a troll tonight. I guess that's going to be my message. Let's piss off a troll tonight. Go ahead and contribute. Hit up the PayPal and help us out. So, do I miss Canada? I don't know. I've, I've only driven through Canada. No, I, I don't miss Canada. Uh, I lived in Montana. I lived in Alaska. So, all, all I did through Canada was drive through it. Beautiful country. Beautiful country. Absolutely beautiful. But uh, I do miss certain things about Alaska. And in, in fact, I was going through my old cell phone right here today seven or nine inches well i don't miss that i definitely don't miss that anyway i was going through here and i was uh looking at all my old phone contacts this is my alaska phone the phone that i had up in alaska and uh so today i went through my phone and i deleted all of the old contacts you know the the feed mill and the other realtors and that kind of stuff from up there around alaska so uh your mistake alaska yeah no problem grammy no problem so, uh, you know, I miss certain things about it. I don't miss the snow. I don't miss the cold. Um, yesterday, I happened to watch a video done by Lumna, L-U-M-N-A-H, Lumna Acres. He's a guy up in uh, Vermont, New Hampshire, I think, somewhere up in there. And uh, he was out feeding his chickens, and his chickens were freezing, and it was like minus 9 degrees, and I was thinking here, you know, I don't miss that at all. I always felt so bad for my livestock when they lived outside in those kind of temperatures. So I, I don't miss that at all. So, oh gosh, there we go. Another another idiot on the channel. Um, uh, Carl, you explain that when you apply, people accept temporary workers. They are needed. Yeah, we'll see. Raining here today, I wish I missed Canada. <laughs> New Hampshire, that is Al. Yes, Al up in New Hampshire, yeah. Yeah, but anyhow, I was sort of watching his, uh, his channel and looking at how his chickens were freezing and his goats were freezing cold, minus nine degrees. And, you know, up in Alaska, I always felt bad for my critters. You know, we would have three weeks of minus 30 and you just can't, it's just impossible to raise livestock up there. It really is. I mean, unless you got a heated barn, it's really inhumane in a lot of ways. I mean, I know the animals are furry, and I know they're accustomed to it, and they get accustomed to living up there like that, but three weeks in a row of minus 30, that's just unbearable. I know the dogs live out outside during that weather. I mean, you know, all the sled dogs and stuff do. They like that weather, but I don't know. I couldn't. I couldn't do that anymore, so... Brought a brand new snowboarder. There you go. 
Consider how far you've come. Rome was not built in a day. I shoveled snow for four hours this morning. I have a snowblower on my wish list. Yeah, yeah, we used to have a pretty big snowblower. I had a big 48-inch uh, walk behind um, on tracks. <laughs> A big beast. I had a big beast of a snowblower. It was the biggest snowblower as you could get without it being mounted to a tractor. You know, the biggest walk-behind snowblower they had. It was uh, like 20 horsepower walk-behind snowblower. And I'll tell you what, man, it would blow the snow. But even even with that big snowblower, there were times when it snowed so hard overnight that I'd go out and snowblow in the morning and my snowblower would tunnel underneath. You know, it could it could take 24 inches of snow in a bite, and there were times that it would have 26, 28, 29. Uh, oh boy, we got a lot of troll activity tonight, guys. So there you go. Let's piss off some trolls, guys. Piss off some trolls and hit up the PayPal. Let's get rid of these idiots, okay? Once and for all. <laughs> oh, it's funny. You know, they do, they're just so lame. They really are, they're just so lame. You know, they can't do anything constructive. So they just do destructive stuff, so. Yeah, you're right, Marie, trash. Yeah, just trash, trash people, so. Anyhow, it is what it is. I did decide, I did decide to spend $9 that I probably shouldn't have. But I did buy a few beers this evening. Mostly because of something I have on the menu, but also because I really enjoy uh, uh, no trash people who do not work and rely on the goodwill of others to pay their bills. Yeah, well, you apparently don't have a clue what's going on in life, so. Oh, well, we're going to have a lot of them tonight. Okay. Moderators, looks like we're going to have to work overtime today dealing with all the idiots, so. Oh, man. <laughs> Don't understand that. Don't understand that. Thank you, Marie. Appreciate it. Taking out the trash. Taking out the trash. Well, they have a whole bunch of identities we're going to have to go through. You know, it's funny. They keep making it look like they're a whole bunch of different people. The fact is, this is only one or two different people with multiple personality disorder. They, they develop a whole lot of, uh, of identities and uh, make it look like there's a whole bunch of them. But it's actually just a couple of three people. It really is. Um, we've, we've been able to get online, get on some of the chats and stuff and prove that, you know. Uh, my other moderators on here know that, uh, yeah, Maurice, the truth, yeah. Yeah, there's only like two or three people. They just uh, have 30 or 40 different identities that they use to sign up on and get on stuff. So, yeah, Pilot, you're right. Same shit, different day. These guys just uh, create a bunch of fake names just for the purposes of harassment. Because uh, for whatever reason, they can't seem to do anything good or positive in their life. So, speaking of good and positive... Speaking of good and positive, got some good stuff coming on. Have a new sponsor uh, to the channel that uh, um, yeah, yeah, John Parker, it's you, you know it, <laughs> yeah, doesn't, doesn't quite work like that. Doesn't quite work like that. I've, I've been fishing here. I have not had tremendous success. If I was a better, more experienced fisherman in this area, maybe I would have more success in supplementing my food budget. But that doesn't pay the phone bill and that doesn't pay the mooring ball. That may put some food on the plate, but that doesn't help with anything else. And frankly, you know, anybody that makes comments like that on my channel from now on, I mean, it just pisses me off because these people don't seem to understand I've been busting my butt putting content up on my YouTube channel now for years, building up a, uh, an audience and, and a group of followers. In fact, little known fact, next video, which I will put out tomorrow, will be my 1,000th video that I've uploaded onto YouTube. 1,000. 
Not this video, not today. Or maybe it is today. No, tomorrow. Not today. This is this video that we're doing right now, this live stream right now is video 999. The next video after this one will be number 1000. So any special for that? I, I don't know. I, I really, you know, not going to do anything special, I don't think. But anyhow, what I was saying before I got so rudely in, just interrupted by, by the troll, by the, I'm sorry, the trash person, because people that make comments like that are trash people. I got to turn around so you guys can see this. Look at that, huh? Holy, get down. All right, go down there if you want. Look at that sunset happening, huh? Yeah, cool. Yeah, a thousand, thousand videos. That's a lot of work. Anyhow, I've got a new sponsor coming on. Uh, they're a company that manufactures a um, uh, a type of uh, suntan lotion that is free of the toxic chemicals that seem to be hurting our reef system. Uh, there's a, a lot of the uh, uh, suntan lotions that you buy, the regular common suntan lotions that you buy contain certain chemicals in them that have found to be hazardous and are and are contributing to the demise of our coral reefs in fact down here in key west they just had a big vote on about banning certain suntan lotions in the florida or in key west area trying to protect the reef which is interesting because key west doesn't have nearly as much reef as say like key largo does key largo's got a lot more reef so does marathon we've got a lot of reef Anyway, I'd like to see Key Largo and Marathon adopt some practices for using better quality uh, suntan lotion. But anyhow, so this company that manufactures these suntan lotions are coming on as a sponsor. And I'm going to, I'm organizing a uh, event, actually. We're going to organize an event. I have a, uh, a coral uh, scientist uh, that's going to be making a, a presentation about you know, the impact of suntan lotions and coral reefs here for the cruisers I'm in the process of organizing. And so hopefully that'll be able to come together here pretty soon. So that's kind of an exciting thing to look for, forward to in the future. So, and that might be special, but we're not going to do that for the thousandth episode because I'm not going to have that organized for tomorrow. I think my thousandth episode is going to simply just be us doing our usual stuff, having our day-to-day -day live stream. And talking to you good people the way I always do. And I think that's fitting in the way it should be. You know? I know there's a bunch of trash people out there that just don't get it. Well, that's their problem. So, yeah, kind of the golden hour here. So, thank you, Bermuda Sun. Appreciate it. Thank you, Marie. Snow's piling up. Man, I'm sorry to hear that, Earl. Golden hour, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, that's the nice sunset this evening, huh? Kind of beautiful out there. Also things like dish detergent. Yeah, Bill, you're right. Also things like dish detergent. Yep, there's a lot of things that negatively impact the coral reefs. And so we're gonna try to do a little something about it, so. Yep, there are some dish detergents that are okay to use and there are some that just aren't. And of course, it's always the ones that do a good job that are the ones that aren't good to use, so. Uh, yeah, I am feeling better, Bermuda, thank you. Yeah, feeling much better today. Uh, I went for a big long walk today. I walked over to Publix and that made me feel better. You know, I, I, I walked all the way over there. I walked the dog and then I walked over there. So I got about a two mile walk in all together today even though I took the taxi coming back. I had to take the taxi coming back. I had too much stuff. I couldn't carry it all at one time, but it was a lot of stuff to tote. <clears throat> okay, guys, so that's not the real Martin. That's being, that's an impersonation going on there. So um, Martin, that Martin is gone. Uh, Time-consuming hobby, unless you're a commercial fisherman, in my opinion. Yeah, Marie, it, it really is. In fact, you know, what little fishing I've done, I spent the amount of money I spent buying bait to go fishing. You know, I spent $8 buying the bait to go out fishing to catch snapper. I could have taken that $8 and bought a steak with it. I mean, I could have bought a, a, a one-pound ribeye steak for $8. Well, maybe not a one-pound ribeye, but certainly a nice chuck steak for 8 bucks. And I could have eaten steak for what I paid for the bait. It just doesn't make sense to go out and spend, 
eight dollars on bait to go out and catch four dollars worth of fish <laughs> which is about what it all broke down to so <clears throat> with time and patience and practice i'll get better at it but right now i can't afford to do that so yeah there we go there's all the trash people back with all their nonsense uh, all right pilot's gonna use a new blower so what kind of blower did you get pilot would you go to like Home Depot or Lowe's and buy one of theirs? I, it's actually, they're actually not half bad. The, the really big one that I bought, I bought at a uh, uh, AIH, uh, Alaska Industrial Hardware, which is sort of a Home Depot, Lowe's kind of place up in Alaska. They had a big commercial heavy duty snowblower that we had up there. It worked really well. That thing would kick some snow, so. Um, yeah, we can and we do use plum plastic baits for fishing. In fact, I'm going to be doing more of that coming in the near future. So that way I'm not having to lay out money for live bait. Yep, Pilot, you're right. They have nothing better to do. Yeah, the local fishermen, uh, you know, they, I'm not aware of any place here where I could buy locally. Uh, maybe as I get around more, I'll find some more place, but yeah. You like you like Miss Lily's profile there, huh? She's kind of standing in my way here as um she likes to hover right above me when I'm sitting here lounging. It's like she's protecting me. <laughs> oh. A little jet flying overhead. Home Depot Toro 721 Electric Start. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, Toro makes some good equipment. Electric Start, always a good thing, especially in cold weather. Especially in the cold weather. I know that one that I bought from AIH was Electric Start. Man, that thing would start. I don't care how cold it was out there. I'd plug the extension cord in it and hit the button, and it would fire right up. It was Electric Start, but it worked off 110 volt. It didn't have its own battery. So it, uh, it was always sort of interesting. Here you can hear the conch horns blowing. Tradition here in Buki Harbor around sunset. There's three of them I hear, four of them. Don't know if you guys can hear them. Cub Cadet 28X, that rocks. Cool, Wood Beast. I do not have a conch horn Bermuda. I need to get one. I need to find a conch shell and uh, I, I need to go conch fishing actually and get some conch and then make myself a conch horn and have a little ceviche as I'm doing it. So. Too old to be yanking. Oh yeah, absolutely, I agree. It has nothing to do with being too old or wasting money. I think electric start on something like a snowblower is a wise investment. So, well, Woodbeast, we're happy to see you here too. <laughs> uh, Marie says I have a shovel. Yeah, I've done enough of that stuff. It all depends on how big your property is. You know, my 80 acres up in Alaska, we really needed some serious snow removal. You know, keep in mind, up in Alaska, we had to use an outhouse. So if we had to go to the bathroom, we had to shovel a path to the outhouse. Let me tell you something, there's nothing more motivating than having to go to the bathroom and having to shovel a path out to the outhouse. You shovel quickly in that situation. Even if sitting on that plastic toilet seat when it's minus 30 degrees out is a little rude. It's what you do, so. Wish I was in the Keys. We're getting a snowstorm in New York. Oh, sorry about that, Parker John. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. You from Alaska? I was uh, Bermuda. I, I lived up in Alaska for the last eight years. Um, there's some neighbors going by. How you guys doing?
Tractors handle most in rural America. Yep. Yeah, you gotta go, you gotta go, you're right. That was obsessive compulsive divers people that just went by. They're, uh, they're a local diving group that does bottom boat cleaning and, uh, and asset recovery off the bottom of the seafloor. <laughs> Actually, there was a boater here the other day. He dropped a single key, like a key, like a doorknob key or an ignition key. He dropped a single key over the side of his boat. It landed in the water. And those guys were able to go down and find one single key on the bottom. Now keep in mind, visibility in the water was only about a foot and a half. And they were able to find that guy's key. They do a hell of a good job. So, did you do any gold mining like panning in the streams? Oh, a little bit. Never did find anything really to, to, to write home about. So, I'll let you snow blow then a gas one. I'm in a serious search for one I can handle. Actually, Miss Shar, we always had gasoline-powered snowblowers that had electric start. I would not own an electric snowblower. All electric snowblower would be way too much of a problem. I've always had a, a, a gasoline-powered snowblower with electric start. And the electric start ones that I've had have always used a power cord. The one that we had up in Alaska, you plugged it into the, to a wall outlet, and then that would start it, and then you would unplug it, then go ahead and run. So, or you could start it manually. Now, once it started up and was warm, it was easy to restart. Single pull on it would restart it. So if you were out away from the house and, you know, it died on you, it'd be easy to restart. But the initial start, the first thing in the morning when it's not been run all night, always better to plug in. So Bill says, I have a shovel for digging clams. Yeah. Um, no, weed is not legal here in Florida at this time. I don't believe so. Uh, you should grow some, yeah. You know, we could have done that up in Alaska, but we're not doing that here. So I, I didn't do it in Alaska either. A lot of keys, yeah, yeah, okay. I lost the key, yeah, I had thought of that. Yeah, it's funny, okay. <laughs> oh man, I am so glad I'm feeling so much better. I really felt like crap. I even didn't feel good this morning, actually. When I got back from my walk, maybe because I kind of did a little too much too soon, but now I'm feeling really good. Now I'm feeling much, much better. So might actually have some dinner this evening now that I've got some food in the fridge. We shall see. We shall see. Oh, man, kids. Oh. Um, Thanks for the snowblower advice. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I wouldn't own, I would not own an all-electric snowblower. That just would not be smart, so. Do you have that flu that's going around? I did. I did have that flu that was going around, and I've got it, I've got it uh, in the rearview mirror now. I've got, I'm on the mend. Actually, I'm pretty much mended. So there you go. Thank you, Wood Beast. Appreciate you putting up the PayPal. Thank you very much. Yeah, folks, seriously, I, uh, I am going to, uh, I'm, I need to pay the phone bill, guys. I'm about 130 bucks short on the phone bill. So if anybody can kick in and help out, now would be the time. We could really use the funds to get the phone bill covered. Because without paying the phone bill, which has to be paid on the 23rd, this all stops. I'll have no way to upload, so. Uh, troll, trolls note the correct spelling. Oh, okay. Make sure I look at snowblower forums. Yeah, there you go. Yep, yep. Yeah, but don't get too crazy. Some snowblowers, I mean, you can really get overkill on snowblowers. I've seen some $2,500, $3,500 walk-behind snowblowers. I've never paid more than $1,500 for a walk-behind snowblower. But, you know, I, don't, I usually don't buy the six, five, six, seven hundred dollars snowblowers. We were up in Alaska. We needed a serious tool. We needed a serious piece of equipment. I mean, there was there was no going around. There was no getting out the driveway. Our driveway was 500 feet long. We had to blow it out with a snowblower. Um, there was there was no messing around with that. You needed to have a good snowblower up there. Uh, we had to snowblow a path over the outhouse. We had to snowblow out to the to the chicken coop. We had to snowblow out to the vehicles and around the vehicles so we have access to them to the cabin and then out the whole length of the driveway. So we uh, we had quite a bit that we had to snow blow. 
boy, that dinghy that just went by, there was a real strong smell of gasoline coming off his boat. Yeah, it is, Woodbeef. You're right. It is great to have Maria and Miss Char here. Good to see them here and hanging out. So, I guess old Andy's at a race. His daughter's racing. They're out. They're out this whole weekend at various races. So Andy Wood's going to be. He's going to be racing. I don't know where all the rest of the regulars are. We haven't seen a lot of. A lot of folks haven't been around in a while. So, Lily, get down. Get down. I don't need you right up in my face. So. Seven horse single stage. There you go. Yep. Sunset looks great. It does build, doesn't it? It classes up the joint. Yes, they do, Wood Beef. Yes, they do. Ladies will have a tendency to do that. Absolutely. <laughs> Ladies will always have a tendency to do that. What happened to John Dolan? The team 5,000 is still for sale. I don't know. I don't know. He may have gone down and looked at it and decided it needed more work than he was willing to do. I don't know. I've not heard from John in a while. So, I should probably reach out to him and see how he's doing. Um, uh, hey, Gavin. How you doing, man? I'm here just tired. There you go. Gavin's here. Well, we kind of got the sun set over now. Let me turn this around, set that down. There we go. Anyhow, whoop. Is that gonna, is that gonna work? There we go, got that set down. Uh, well, that's right, Marie. Boat deals can take a long time. And you know, I've, I've known quite a few people that have sold boats and then forgot to go and take down the listings for them, so. Eventually, they get too many people calling them and harassing them about it, and then they finally take it down. I don't know how quickly those things get put up and taken down, but if it's like real estate, I know sometimes, you know, you place an ad, it takes a while for the ad to get taken down. Especially in some things that, you know, you put it up there, it's up there for a month. So, Oh, brother. Uh, you're looking pretty... Um, yeah, I'm feeling good, Bermuda. I'm feeling really good. Thank you, Woodby. Appreciate that. Yeah, there's the PayPal, folks. Uh, I don't mean to uh, to hit it too hard, but I, I really need to. <laughs> uh, I'm not kidding. I really need to. I need to uh, need to generate some funds here really quickly. I, I mean, I'm working, doing everything I can, trying to generate some funds on the other area. We, we are we are applying for numerous jobs and trying to get uh, income coming in from another source, but. This is all gonna end pretty quickly if uh, we don't get some folks donating here pretty soon. So I got the last one floor model fully assembled, had to take it apart to fit it in the Cadillac. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, it'd be exciting to hear from John. It would be, it absolutely would be, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. See what's going on with him. Oh, it is what it is, you know. Uh, dog, not the boat. She's looking good. Yeah, Lily is three. Lily is three. You know, there's another thing. I had somebody ask me the other day. Uh, one of my viewers emailed me and wanted to know if I ever bred Lily. Would would I if I bred it? Would I sell them a puppy from her? And uh, I'm on a 1974 Cal 229. No, this is not a pot channel. And. Um, I don't know. You know, I really like Lily. She's got a great personality, so I'm, I'm beginning to think about it. So, I don't know. It might be something worthwhile doing. So, oh gosh, I do not have a criminal record, people. Give it a break. Tried emailing you. One of the mods deleted me for no reason when you left the other night. Huh. Well, I think it wasn't for any reason, Wood Dancer. I think it was for some of the comments that were made. Um, I think that's why you were deleted. At least that's what I heard. So, uh, so you're going to pimp out your dog to pay your phone bill, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Carrie Beth, it doesn't quite happen that fast. So, um, no, actually, she she's a great-looking dog, and she's but but more importantly, she's got a great winning personality. 
Uh, and, you know, Kerry Beth, that's a stupid st statement to make. I mean, to breed a dog takes, uh, from the day you breed her, it takes 63 days before she has puppies and then eight weeks after that. So breeding a dog to pay my phone bill, which is due in five days, is a ridiculous, stupid statement. And frankly, it's why you just got bumped off of here because that's just ridiculous. So uh anyhow oh christ here we go again uh she's a labrador retriever she's not a golden she's not a golden retriever she's a uh, wind dancer you're still headed this way yeah um she's a labrador retriever so yeah so i don't know i don't know somebody asked if i bred lily would i sell puppies and i i don't know if i want to breed her i don't really have any place to breed her here on the boat so I don't. I doubt that's going to be something. Oh, here we go with all the troll nonsense again. Carrie visits the troll channels as well. Yeah. Yeah, she's a yellow lab. So. Thanks, would be appreciate you taking out the trash there. Oh, yeah, see, they got all of these identities, and it's just the same person over and over and over again. Um, uh, I had to call my son to help me with this. Yeah, Wid Dancer, I, I don't know if I'm going to do that, frankly. Uh, no offense, but uh, it was uh, someone texted me a copy of the comments that were being made after the live stream ended. And so... Um, so that's why uh, that was all, uh, that's why you got bumped, so. Yeah. Trolls, unreal. What trash people. Yep, living in mom's basement, probably. See, now they're, they're taking the approach that if they're just disruptive enough, you know, that we'll stop talking and that we're somehow hurting ourselves, whatever. Um, they're just, yeah, we have plenty of bags for taking out the trash, don't we, would be? You're right. Just keep popping them away, keep popping them away. Um, yeah, thank you, would be. There you go. There's the PayPal address. So anybody wants to contribute yeah piss these trolls off some more let's go ahead and piss these trolls off some more that's what they're trying to disrupt they don't want you donating to me they think that they've got us on the run and by by interrupting they're going to stop the youtube channel they're not going to stop anything they're just doing their damnedest lying every which way they can trying to to be disruptive what children i mean it's just absolutely childish isn't it so, wow, that's an awful lot of people in that little dinghy. Look at that. That's a little tiny dinghy with three people in it. And see that wrinkle in the side? Looks like it's about to take on water. There's four people. I'm sorry. I thought there was three. There's four people in that little dinghy. Wow. I know I'm a lot of weight to put in my dinghy, but that's a lot of weight for in there. So, hey, Alexander. Yeah, brother, I'm feeling much better. Thanks. Worse than that, yeah. You talking about me? I don't get this. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh. Anyhow. Yeah, I just have very little tolerance for any kind of troll-like, trash-like behavior anymore. And I don't need to. I don't need to have tolerance for it. It shouldn't be tolerated. These people should just be dumped, you know? So, isn't that right, Lily? Isn't that right? Don't you think these trash people should just be dumped, huh? What do you think? Do you think so? Yeah? What do you think about the people over here? Have you seen the people on the camera? Can you see the phone? Who's the dog there? Who's that dog there? Hey, Rejects, what's up? Oh, 
Weather here is absolutely great, Alexander. It's uh, about 75 degrees today. Water temperature is about 68, somewhere in there. Uh, very, very comfortable right now. Although we've got some bad weather coming. Oh, wow, Steve Newby got deleted. Wow, that's odd. I didn't even see what Steve had to say. He's usually a pretty good supporter. So, but I trust Woodbeast. If he, if he did him, that's it. Billy is vulgar. Yes, he is, pilot. Yes, he is. Oh, man. Oh. Yeah, cool. Okay, so there's some contributions coming in. Thank you very much. I'm not naming names anymore, but for those people that just donated, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Very nice of you to do this. Well, yeah, this channel will not answer stupid questions. There you go. What the heck? Sorry, Steve. I don't know what you said, but it must have been something out of line, man. Of course, you know, so many of these trolls or so many people are being impersonated. Steve was unhidden. Okay, so that was an accidental hit. Okay, that happened, Steve. Sometimes they're trying to get to the person above or below you in the comments and uh, it jumps ahead and they get the wrong person. So Steve's message was not bad. Okay, sorry about that, Steve. You just got you just got hit in the crossfire, my friend. Uh, sometimes the uh, the chat moves up and as they're trying to to touch a identity to block it, uh, sometimes the chat moves just as you're doing that, you end up hitting the wrong person. So I'm sure that's what happened to you, Steve. That's why you got you got kicked out and put back. So, okay, you know, good deal, good deal. Glad, glad you know. That just happens. Apologize for it. So, uh, Steve was collateral damage. Hey, Coyote, what's going on, man? Yep, yep, that'll happen. Unfortunately, that will happen. So, oh, kids, great night out here tonight. I'm feeling so much better. The dog's doing good, aren't you? You're you, you, you doing good. It's giving me doggy kisses. So. <laughs> I hate when she I don't know why but my ears are ticklish and she'll come up and she'll see what she's doing she'll like come up and sniff my ear and it makes it tickle so I was just typing that okay I'm not sure what you were typing but okay oh good, good night so we sailed out to Sombrero Reef, and it was so calm we stayed for the night. The viz for diving was full. I was wondering where you went to the other day, Bill. That's where you were, out on Sombrero Reef, huh? I was thinking about doing the same thing, but then this is not a good time to do it. We're supposed to have pretty calm weather tomorrow. Actually, tonight would be a good night to do it. We're supposed to have pretty calm weather tomorrow, but then we've got some big wind coming in after that. Looks like Sunday we're going to be socked in with some bad weather, too, so... I'm going to knuckle down and hide here on the boat, so. Uh, hey, John Harris, how you doing, man? Missed you, and I still cannot get a hold of Brittany. Oh, man, sorry to hear that. What's going on with Brittany? I was actually thinking about you guys the other day. Brittany does not have my, uh, my new phone number. She only has the old phone number that I had when I was in Sandusky. So my phone number has changed. So she, don't really, she doesn't have any way of contacting me unless she gets on and watches a video. Which apparently she doesn't do much of it anymore. But I wish she would. She'd have a lot of fun down here visiting for a week. She would. It'd warm her up and she'd have a lot of fun visiting and meeting a lot of these folks and stuff. It'd be it'd be fun. It'd be fun having her on board right now. So and frankly I could use a little fun, so forty three hundred deleted. <laughs> we hit the perfect window and took it, so glad we did. Yeah, you did, Bill. You had a good window because the weather's been pretty calm the last couple of days, so I wish I'd been out there, yeah, but I'd like to see her there. Yeah, yeah. Well, keep trying to get a hold of her, John, if you can, and, and have her uh, have her message me on Facebook. I'm on Facebook. Have her message me on Facebook or message me on the channel. Make a comment on a video I can respond to or something like that. I would like to, uh, I'd like to get back in touch with her. I, I no longer have her phone number. I went through all my contacts on my phone and it's not in there, so. What's the next big thing? Oh, wow, next big thing is I'm gonna be here working for a while, but I do have some uh, 
some film projects I'm working on about local stuff going on here in the harbor and in the area. So hopefully we'll have some of that coming out pretty soon. Yeah, Marie, he didn't have to be he didn't have to be hit for that. You just asked what the next best thing is. Well, you guys are tough, man. Uh, I don't I do not do Facebook live streams. Nope. No, nope, don't do Facebook live streams. So, oh, she has a different phone now too. Well, there you go. So that's how you lose business with somebody. So, yeah, it would be yeah, damn flood. That'll happen sometimes. That'll happen. So timed out. Okay, good deal. Good deal. Oh man. Oh. He asked me 12 times. Okay, I think you would have better luck getting rid of trolls if you would stop feeding them. Yeah, Ron, I, I hear you, brother. And we've tried that, Ron. We, we, we've tried that in the past. It has not been successful. Um, and, and to be honest with you, Ron, there's a certain number of uh, my fans and supporters that donate to me for no other reason than to piss off the trolls. So... I don't really care what people's reason are right now. I got to pay a phone bill. That's the only thing I'm worried about. So, people want to donate to the PayPal. That's great. If they can't, they uh, they can't too. Uh, we don't agree. Okay, Marie. What? What do you want? What do you want, huh? Oh man. Oh. Trolls will never go away. No, nah, they're just a waste of time. They're just just a waste of time. Trash people. Not good people. Trash is like a plague. Yep, yeah, it certainly is. It certainly is. So. Oh man. All right. So. <clears throat> good day today. Feeling better. Making progress. I don't know what we're going to be doing tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be dealing with some YouTube housekeeping stuff tomorrow. So I'm going to be taking care of some of that kind of nonsense. I hate wasting a day doing that kind of stuff, but sometimes it's just necessary to deal with it. So see where it goes from there. Yes, Marie Trash. Absolutely trash, so. Other than that, really not a whole lot to talk about. New sponsor coming on board. That's cool. Um, good sponsor, too. Good product. Good product that does good for the environment. I like that. I like that. I, I'm, I tend to be really picky, even though... Beggars can't be choosers, and I should be grabbing any any sponsorship money I can right now. But I'm only I'm only interested in, in highlighting somebody for something I can believe and get behind, and a product that helps save the coral reefs. That's something I can believe in and get behind. So that's what we're doing. So, so that's what we're gonna do. Anyhow, guys, watch out tomorrow for tomorrow's video number one thousand. Video number one thousand. So. Um, I may do a video video tomorrow. I may put out a regular video tomorrow just so it's not disrupted by all the trash people. So, um, yep, Carl. Okay, if I put the finished song up on my. Yeah, it would be. You can do anything you want to, brother, with it. Actually, I was just saying, I, I'm going to be coming up with a video tomorrow. I'm gonna work on a on a short video to put out for my number 1,000, and it's actually gonna have your song in it. So, uh, because I think it's pretty cool, you know. It's, uh, for, for, fact is, Woodbreach, I'm gonna make this public right now. 91 people watching. You know what? There's very few people that I know of who have ever done anything in their life that people would write a song about. And the fact that I brought this little boat from Sandusky down to here inspired you enough to write a song about it, I think that's just absolutely awesome. I think it's absolutely phenomenal. It's one of the, one of the highlights in my life was, was knowing that somebody was sufficiently inspired that they wanted to write a song about it. So I think that's, um, I think that's what's just awesome about it. So I really appreciate that, Woodby. I, I don't know exactly 
how to handle that, to be honest with you. I've never been in that position before. So I am, I am very much humbled and, um, and amazed by it, to be honest with you. So, um, uh, I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. So yeah, well, Marie, he added some other chapters to it. Um, it's, it's quite a bit longer now. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to, I can't really use it in the live streams because I don't have music playing during the live streams. Um, and I don't like have an intro for my live streams. I just, you know, I start them. They don't really have a, uh, a way of doing that unless I did something with uh, my laptop and live streamed off of that. And then that takes too much data on my phones to do that. Um, my biggest bottleneck right now with data on my phones is being able to hook my laptop up. So, But I think uh, tomorrow I'll, I'm going to put together a little brief video, sort of a maybe a culmination video kind of thing for my 1000s. That's probably a good idea. I may work on that tomorrow. That might just be what I do tomorrow. That might be just what I do tomorrow. I'm going to crank out a 1,000th video, which will be just a little synopsis of my entire life on YouTube. Ha, huh, interesting. I will do that. Thank you for the inspiration for that, Wood Beast. I appreciate it, brother. All right, kids. Well, listen, I'm going to go ahead and get... Uh, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and end this, so... I'm just going to tell you how much I appreciate everybody being here. I'm, I am kind of amazed that tomorrow is going to be my 1,000th video. That's a lot of content. And Woodby, thanks for putting that up there. Yep. Um, thanks for putting that up there, that, my PayPal link there. Guys, if you can, really seriously, hit up the PayPal, contribute. Right now is the time. I need to put together about $130 between now and the 23rd. So it's not like it's urgent, like it has to be tomorrow, but I need to put some money together here pretty soon between now and the 23rd. So um, 4K, 1K. Yeah, that 4K is not really an accurate number, pilot. Remember, some troll put 1,500 subscribers in there, some BS subscribers. So it's really 2,500 uh, and 1,000. So um, uh, anyhow, I'm just going to go ahead and end it here. Guys, be good, be careful, take good care of one another. We will have a video out tomorrow, um, and I hope you guys will enjoy that. So good night, everybody, and thanks for watching. And again, in the description down below, there's a link to my PayPal. It's in the chat here. If you can throw a little money in to uh, help along with the adventure, we greatly appreciate it. Thanks, guys.